Hello everyone, welcome to the World Drone Market Channel. Today's video showcases the connection between the Skydroid H16 and the Holy Bros 6X Pro. This content will be divided into three parts, introducing the materials, the connection process, and connecting to fly GCS and QGC. Let's start with the first part, introducing the materials. The materials we'll be using include the Skydroid H16 receiver, Holy Bros 6X Pro, a battery, XT60 to JST connectors, a Telem 1 cable, a Bata Plus S bus cable, the 6X Pro power module, and the Skydroid H16 remote controller. That's it for the introduction of materials. Next, we'll move on to the wiring section. First, connect the UART0 port of the H16 receiver to the Telem 1 port of the 6X Pro using the Telem 1 cable. The connectors are a GH1.25 6 pin and a GH1.25 3 pin. The GH1.25 3 pin goes to the UART0 port, while the GH1.25 6 pin connects to the Telem 1 port. Next, Connect the Bata Plus S bus port of the H16 receiver to the RC port of the 6X Pro flight controller using the Bata Plus S bus cable. The Bata Plus S bus head splits into two lines, one S bus line with a 2.54mm 3-pin DuPont header and one power line, which we'll leave for later. The Bata Plus S bus head goes into the S bus port of the H16, and the 2.54 mm 3-pin DuPont header connects to the RC port of the 6X Pro flight controller. Finally, attach the power module to the 6X Pro, connect the battery to the power module to power the flight controller, and use the XT60 to JST connector to power up the H16 receiver. That completes the wiring section. The last step is connecting to fly GCS and QGC. Open H16 tool. Click on Advanced Settings, enter the password 999, and then click on Baud Rate Settings. Since we connected to the UART0 port, we'll set UART0 to 57600. Next, open Fly GCS. Click on the connection icon at the bottom, select UDP connection, Enter 14551 and click Connect in the top right corner. When the icon in the top left corner turns green, it indicates a successful connection. When you shake the flight controller, you should see the movement reflected in the ground station. Open QGC. Click on the menu in the top left corner, select App Settings. Click on Com Links in the left pane, and click Add at the bottom of the screen. In the new pop-up window, under Name, give this setting a name. Since I'm using the H16 remote controller, I'll name it 16. Scroll down, select UDP under Type, Enter 14551 under Port, and click OK to save. Click on the setting you just added, and click Connect at the bottom to connect to QGC. When you shake the flight controller, you should see the movement reflected in the ground station. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching. For more content, 
Please remember to follow us.